Hi there and welcome to the Math Observer's YouTube channel. I'm Charlotte Henry and you might just have heard Johnny Ive is on his way out of Apple. He's leaving after nearly 30 years in the company and he's going to start his own design company, a new firm. Luckily Apple's still going to be one of the primary uh, clients of this new firm so he's not going anywhere too far but it is no doubt it is a significant change. We've heard for a while that maybe Johnny I was slowly moving towards the Apple exit but I, uh, I don't know if any of us expected it, the news quite when it happened. This is of course the man behind some of Apple's greatest success stories. He was the designer behind the iMac G3, the device that effectively saved the company. He uh, designed the iPod, the iPhone, the Apple Watch. Uh, he was involved in iOS 7 as well when he took responsibility for software. His parting gift to Apple is its new headquarters, Apple Park, which is almost a tribute to his mentor, Steve Jobs. Since his departure, we've also heard a lot about why he's left, how long it's been going on for, and that kind of thing. Uh, there was a story on Bloomberg, but most notably, there was a really big story that caused a, made a bit of a splash via the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it said Johnny Ive was really fed up at Apple. It said he didn't like the kind of operations-led approach of Tim Cook. He felt stifled, he felt uninspired. Now, that story's interesting in itself, of course, but what really struck me was the strength of, of Apple's response to the story. In an email to Dylan Byers on M of NBC, Tim Cook, Tim Cook himself responded to this story, which is rare. But he told Dylan Byers that he, the story was absurd. That was the word he used. He said he didn't recognise the company being described and reported on in that Wall Street Journal story. That's really strong stuff in and of itself, and it's particularly significant from Apple, who don't tend to respond to things at all. We very rarely hear from Apple. So that, that was a big deal. We discussed it, if you want to catch up on our discussion, on the Mac Observer's Daily Observations podcast, so check that out. As I said, whatever the reality of why Johnny Ive decided to leave Apple now, he's on his way out at the end of the year, it's a big deal. He was the closest person probably to Steve Jobs, often described as his protege. He, like I said, was involved in the design of so many of Apple's key products. He, the Apple image is almost the image of Johnny Ive, and so it'll be very, very interesting to see what comes next. Will we see some of the other talent at Apple come through? Will it be able to shine without being stifled by Johnny Ive? Will actually Apple not quite have the magic without him there? I suspect it's more likely to be the former, but we'll be keeping an eye on it, that is for sure. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, like this video if you've enjoyed it, leave a comment, let me know what you think. What, how did you react to the news that Johnny Ive is leaving Apple? Thank you very much, until next time.